and be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and I hope you guys enjoy. Alrighty, today what we are going to do is we are going to unbox and test out a Craftsman tool. Now this is my first Craftsman tool for the channel and like I said in a previous video I will be getting Bosch and Craftsman as well. This, uh, this kit was $170. It comes with two batteries, the bag, the charger, the tool. So let's unbox this and test this out and see what this can do. So after the bag the box is empty. So just like DeWalt, Craftsman does uh, say on their bags, a uh, tool made in the USA with global materials. First thing you get is instructions and I'm pretty sure the warranty. All right, so the first thing you will see is the charger, which this, I guess this supports the 12 volt and 20 volt systems. The model number for the charger, I believe is CMC B102. Uh, 12 volt to 20 volt max lithium ion chargers, 120 volt AC, 60 hertz, input, input is 1 amp and output is 2 amps. So, so just like DeWalt and Milwaukee, I love chargers that support both in one without it being too big. So the next you get two batteries, which the batteries are full as you get it. So this is a 2 amp hour 20 volt battery. Model number for the battery is CMCB202. Like I said, you get two of them. Two 2 amp hours, which means I will be getting more amp hours in the future. Then, last but not least, you get the tool. So, the model number for the tool is CMCF820. Quarter inch hex uh, collet, 38, uh, 3800 impacts per minute. It, it is three speed settings. First speed RPM is 0 to 1300, speed 2 is 0 to 2600, and speed 3 is 0 to 2900. It is a brushless motor. And so yeah, this thing, it, it, when it comes to the design, it actually looks pretty cool. I like the way that this looks. So like I said, three speed settings. It does have a tri-beam LED light on the front. Speed 1, this is what it sounds like. Speed, speed 2. Speed three. And let's see what this can do. Remember when you work, wear gloves and safety glasses. Got mine right here. So we're gonna see how well this does putting in uh, timber locks and do a log. Gonna do two. I'm gonna put them in individually, but time it as one. I'm gonna stop the clock as soon as I put the first one in and restart it right when I put the second one in. All right, so battery is full. We are on speed. Ooh, we are on speed three. All right, so ready, go. Time. Let's do one more. All right, so ready, go. Time. Not too shabby, not too shabby at all. Now, this actually did a really good job. It is a little bit loud. It is a little bit loud, but you also can hear the motor whining. And so it's really not that bad. It really isn't when it comes to noise. All right, so let's take them out. All right, so ready, go. Time. All right, so let's do some uh, power specs and a spec. First, we're gonna do a six inch spec. Let's see how well this could, could do with a little thicker of a screw. Right there is good. All right, so ready, go. Time. Did a good job. Good job, so let's take that out. So ready, go. Time. We are using Hilti driver bits. Like I said, the collet is pushing. That's an awesome feature to have. That should be standard now for everything. 
So let's see what this can do. All right, so ready, go. Time. Not bad, not bad at all. all right, so let's take it out. Ready, go. All right, let's see what the battery is. The battery has two bars left out of three. So what we are gonna do is we are going to do some lag screws, some half inch lag screws. We're using Tech Life Impact Rated Socket still. This, uh, I've been using this since the beginning of these tests and it still looks pretty much brand new inside. No chipping, no nothing. And what we are continuing to use the Husky half inch to a quarter inch hex adapter. We are going to use the Husky until it breaks. And then I got another one lined up to see which one does. And like I said in previous videos, the one that lasted the longest so far was the older styled Makita diamond head adapter, which uh, if I, a few more brands break, I will be using that one from here on out. All right, so we are going to be doing in this test because we only have a two amp hour battery. We are going to be doing a six inch lag and a four inch lag and see how this can do. And like I said, in the future, we are going to do other tests against other brands with higher amp hour batteries. But this is just to see what this kit can do. All right, so we're going to do this right here. When it comes to the, uh, the lags, I try to stay on the same ring. So right here is good. Speed three. All right, so ready, go. Yes, sir. Time. Not too shabby, it did it, it did it. Now, like, this might seem simple, but this is actually a hard task to do, a complete four inch half inch lag into a non pre-drilled hole is a hard task especially the bigger side the longer you go the harder it is to do so we're gonna do the six inch next right here should be good all right so ready go Time, time, time. Now let's see the battery life on this. Battery's at one bar, no, two bars. Excellent, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this battery cool down for like about 45 seconds, and we're gonna continue to take those out with the same battery. And the second battery is right here, it is still full. I wanna do this test with one battery to see what it can do. Now, yes, I'll, I, I'm gonna make a video about this soon, but the more amp hours you have in a battery, the more power your tool will retain from those cells in the battery. So a four amp hour will majorly outlet, uh, outperform a two amp hour, not just in duration. But a four amp hour would have a, an easier time driving those in than a two amp hour would. And I, I've proven this already in many videos and I'm gonna do a uh, video specifically for it soon. So subscribe to the channel to stay, stay tuned for that test. All right, so that's just about enough time. All right, so let's uh, take these out. The battery is at two bars. We're, we're gonna do these both at once and we're gonna time it. All right, so ready, go. No problem. No problem. Time. All right, so let's do a quick temperature reading on this. 121, 114, 127 degrees. This got up to. 
127 degrees, which that's normal in this channel. Like I said, I put these uh, tools through a lot of stress to see what they can do. And if they end up failing, I want it to happen with the, during these tests. So you'd know that it probably would fail if you wanted to, if you plan on doing stuff like this. So, because if it's able to do these type of tests, it's more than, uh, if it's able to do these type of tests, it's more than able to do anything less. So that's why we, that's why I do these tests because it's, it's a huge stress. It's a, it's a major stress test. So that's why I do it. Have you thought about upgrading your, your old Craftsman to a brushless motor or getting into the Craftsman brand and flat out just going straight to brushless? This is actually a good, it's actually a good, uh, impact driver. It, it did the job. It did skip here and there for the tough jobs, but it still did the task. I did have a couple of uh, impacts that weren't able to do this, and Craftsman did. Craftsman did. So, uh, one thing that I just realized that this doesn't come with. Oh, I am wrong. I am wrong on that. I use this tool for everything. Okay, so, it did a good job, and this Husky adapter is doing a good job as well. It, uh, uh, Milwaukee uh, broke at this point. So, so yeah, the, we're gonna continue using the Husky adapter until it breaks. If you found this video useful and helpful to may help you make your purchase, please like the video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos and please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time.